hi and welcome to this lecture in this lecture we will we will discuss about uh, retentive and non-retentive what retentive and non-retentive we have uh, so let's start from uh, the software uh, win pro ladder which is FedEx PLC software and in a new project click OK or whatever you can change the model name here so when you will go PLC uh, project and memory allocation and click OK so here are the details of the functions or items we can use and we have in this uh, PLC programming software <coughs> as I already have told you uh, we have input uh, which is represented by X and we have total 256 input we can use in this PLC program by make any program here um, as well as we have output relays from Y0 to Y25 so we have memories here which is internal memories actually internal relays actually we have in this PLC programming we as we used physically the external relays in our electrical circuit so we use here internally uh, relay which uh, represented uh, by M symbol right which is which means uh, the memories we have so here we have uh, uh, some memories uh, there are retentive and some are non-retentive we have so what does retentive and non-retentive means here um, for example I'm using a memory in which uh, the current failure right now is 6 for example right and my PLC is switched off due to load shading or due to another purpose my PLC is switched off and I switched on my PLC again so if I'm using a retentive memory it will not lose its value while switching the PLC on and off switching the circuit on and off so retentive means remember value current value rememberable memory and non retentive means non rememberable uh, value here same we have counters here retentive and non retentive retentive and non retentive it's uh, 16 bit and 32 bit uh, so retentive means if current value in the counter is 10 and I switched off my PLC and then when I switched on my PLC retentive counter will start from 10 will start from the same value that it was in uh, in this counter and if non retentive I I was using a non retentive counter so it uh, it it will not remember its value and it will start from zero after switching the PLC so let's start by using this practically here I will use X0 terminal which is my open contact and I will use a counter here C0 and preset value for example 100 so what C0 is we have a retentive counter or non-retentive counter let's check from here click OK where is the counter here um, C0 is a 16 bit counter retentive right it means it will remember its value it will not start from 0 every time it will remember its value so there are 140 uh, counters we can use uh, which are retentive counters so let's let's check it's working or not oh I'm sorry I have not selected FBS series so that's why simulation is not so let's make another program another project and select FBS series so your simulation will work here 14 and MA click OK OK here normally open contact which is X0 and here is a counter C0 and 200 now let's check it's working or not here you can see now simulation is active let's make a simulation here run your PLC um, and start putting signal supplying signal here it's you can see one and two right so now it's uh, a current value here is two now I'm going to switch on off my PLC stop my PLC and I will check that uh, will it start from 0 or from 2 here I stopped my PLC 
I ended my simulation right now I start again simulation and run PLC so you can see here is 2 it means C0 is a retentive counter it means it will not lose its value it will start now from 2 as you can see here is a 3 now if I will put here a non-retentive counter remove this counter from here and what's what is a non-retentive counter we have it's C140 right we have total 60 non-retentive counter 16 bit so uh, C140 here now C140 now let me check here will it remember or not go to simulation run your PLC start supplying signal pulses from here it's one two three now it's three here and I'm going to stop my PLC and then end simulation right and when I will again start simulation and run my PLC so it's zero here alright so I, I hope you have understood about retentive and non retentive means we will use these retentive and non retentive memories as well uh, the function of these uh, will be same actually I have not stopped my PLC so so we have retentive counters as well as retentive memories you can see the details of and the terminal numbers of these retentive and non retentive memories and counters here we also have data register which are retentive and non retentive we will discuss further in our next lecture so in the next lecture we will discuss what memories are and when we can use memories in our PLC program so thank you for watching this lecture